Hi there, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Samsung S10 Plus. So, you may have seen me previously unbox one and I bought a second one only because Mrs. Geek Street has had a failure with her Google Pixel 2. Battery's failing and I was trying to work out cost wise, is it effective just to buy a battery and then get it repaired? But we thought it's time for an upgrade. So you may be thinking, why didn't I purchase an S20? Price wise, the S20 is ridiculously high. So minimum price you're talking is around 800 pounds. So I actually own a Samsung S10 Plus and absolutely love it. Performance wise, it's great. Camera's awesome, not had any problems with it, touch wood so far. So we thought we'd treat Mrs. Geek Street to an S10 Plus. So purchased this one again from Four Gadgets and this was £379.99. And for that price, I think you get an absolutely amazing phone. So this is actually my third purchase off their website. This is not sponsored by them. So I thought I'd just do a video just showing what they provide with this. And let me show you around the S10 Plus. So the box itself comes in a larger package and this is what's within there. And if I open that up, get a charge cable and just to show there you go, seems of reasonable quality, not braided or anything like that. Plasticky on either end, and you can see the ends of that there. And then you get the phone. So it's wrapped up like so, and the quality I went for with this one was the good rating on their website. So let's take this out and see what to expect. So this is the green, and come in close. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and drop me a message, let me know what you think. If you don't like it, make it count by hitting thumbs down twice. So coming in close, I can see a few little scratches on the screen itself. There are quite a few. And that's not surprising. Obviously, that's the grade I selected. This is the 128 gig version of it. And looking at the back, coming round here, so just to show the scratches on there, you can see one there, some here. It's quite a few, obviously this is the lowest grade there and there, you can see them quite clearly. So, like I say, wasn't surprised what I'm seeing here. So let's power it on, let's make sure it does power on. There you go. So now it's at the setup stage. Let me set this up in the background and I can quickly show you around it. Okay, so I've set up the phone and just to give you a comparison to an iPhone 8, for example, it's a very large phone just to show. And that's it sitting straight on there. Terms of weight, it's not too bad, just large when you're holding it. And if I come around the size just to show you the style on there, if you haven't already seen it, obviously it's been around for a while already. You've got the headphone jack there, charging point, you've got a speaker, you've got a microphone there on button here, caddy for the SIM, Bigsby button and volume control there. Coming over to the back, you've got three cameras here. Coming to the left, you've got the 12 megapixel telephoto camera. Then you've got the 12 megapixel wide angle camera. And then you've got the 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now, looking at the two circles for the cameras, so the one on the left is a 10 megapixel selfie camera, and the one on the right is the 8 megapixel RGB depth camera. So let's take a look at the Android version it comes with. So go to settings, about phone, software information. You can see there, Android version 10. Let's take a look at storage. So this model has 128 gig, and it's using 19.6 gig. Next, to highlight the cutout notch here for the camera. So if I move across with the wallpaper I've got, it doesn't stick out too much, but if I drop this down, then it sticks out 
quite a bit. I'll come down just to show it more. I know some of the newer phones and other variations do have a tiny notch. It's not too bad. I have been using my one for a number of months and not really found it too much of a distraction. And again, if I come back, there's a number of wallpapers you can download that will allow you to sort of blend it in to the background. It's not really that bad. Security on the device is great. So if I turn it off, turn it on, you've got the normal fingerprint and the fingerprints actually on the screen. See if I put my thumb on there, unlocks it. Now, if I go back in and let's swipe up, you've got a pattern as well. Next thing you have is face unlock. So if I glance at it, there you go, it's unlocked it. Excellent functionality there. Adding the security is really easy. You go to settings and then biometrics and security, and then you've got your face recognition and fingerprints. Both are very straightforward. Instructions are clear on how to do it, and they work really well. So let me show the apps the system comes with by default. I haven't installed anything in addition after setting this up. So settings, apps, and that's what's on there. And if I scroll through there, I'll give you an idea what you get on there by default and any bloatware that may be on there. So you can pick it out yourself, what you think looks a bit odd on there. I guess a lot of Samsung bits and pieces there. And if I just go on to one, for example, got four stop, no disable on that. Go to Samsung Cloud, four stop. No disable on there. Okay, keep going. That's what you have on there. General usability of the phone and performance seems very good. As you can see, it just glides along, no issues, no struggling at all. It is a premium phone. So you're not gonna expect anything to happen with general usage there. Let's test out browsing the web. So if I go here, go to Chrome, and then we can just pick a random one here. Coming back, back to the top, pick another one. And you know it's not gonna struggle. Another tab there. There you go. Works very well. Next, looking in display and coming down here to screen resolution. These are different screen resolutions available just to show. And now if I come back, go to YouTube. This is a travel video from our travel channel called Geek Street Travels. So if I hit play on there, go into full screen. And now if I click here in the corner, quality wise, screen resolution takes it up to 1440. And just to show the quality you can expect to get on here. So this is a 4K video recorded in Thailand. You can see how smooth the video is running. So it doesn't struggle in any way, no buffering on this either. And picture quality is amazing on here. There you go, excellent picture quality. Next, I'm gonna test out the sound levels from the phone. So I've got my sound level meter here. We're gonna play a video which has music on there at maximum volume. First of all, let's see what ambient noise levels are like in the room. 35.5 decibels. So just to confirm, volume's on maximum. Let's hit play. There you go, 88 decibels from there, and no distortion, just to note. It doesn't struggle in any way. Sound quality is quite good on there. Next, let's run a benchmark on the phone. So I've got my benchmark software here. Let's just hit start test. Let's give it some time to complete.
benchmark test has completed and it's come back with 23028 and it's saying just over here excellent performance click there just gives you some details so performance wise it's very good next thing worth mentioning about this phone is the camera both front and rear are absolutely amazing main reason really for buying this phone so if I now go to settings here scroll down you can see rear video size 4k 60 frames so 4k being 2160 you can see the other resolutions going down that's for the rear camera and the front camera it can go to 4k so it doesn't say how many frames per second on that coming back from here interesting even has video stabilization built in just show some of the other options coming back up again and let's come back aspect ratio here as well you can change that so we can go to full so you can see the full picture and now this is another awesome feature wide lens or close-up so if I go here it gives a much wider range there so if I hold the camera let me put something there there you go and that's normal view wide angle and let's come in with that one absolutely amazing and then you can zoom in as well okay now coming back from there if I click on more just to show some of the other options so you got pro panorama food night super slow-mo slow-mo and hyperlapse so if I show food first of all so this is when you're doing shots where you want to highlight a certain thing so if for instance I highlight this area take a picture go to the picture no nope, to that and you can see everything else is slightly out of focus and just that one area is in focus coming back now back again going to video photo live focus live focus video that's the options you have absolutely amazing quality though coming from this this is recording of a tap running at normal speed Video stabilization wise, stabilization isn't available at 60 frames per second, just to note. So if you take it down to the next setting, you can get stabilization. So this is with stabilization on. Gaming wise, it's powerful enough to enable you to play Fortnite. Just to show, jumping out, you can see, doesn't struggle in any way. It's a very impressive. Just shows what's possible with a high spec mobile. It's just like having literally a mini computer with you all the time. Now an interesting feature on the actual phone, it has the ability to connect to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. So if I show you here, 
is my Zembri Z8, which is that one there, and studio speaker, that's my Google Home. So if you see here, listen together, you can play sound on two Bluetooth devices at the same time. Try it out in media. So if I go to media now, and now you're saying which ones you want to pair together. So if I click here, so both of them are now paired. Adjust the volume as well, put them on similar levels. So if I now press play, it's actually playing from both speakers here. There you go, there's a the volume levels. I can turn them down, I can turn them up. Excellent bit of functionality there. The fact you can connect to two separate Bluetooth speakers and play music at the same time. Very impressive. So there you go, hope this video has helped anyone thinking of purchasing a Samsung S10 Plus refurbished or second hand. No issues with that, I'd say personally, it's a really good phone, highly specced, excellent camera on there, and I don't see the point of really spending the full amount on a brand new version. So obviously this is now approximately a year old, and if you went for the S20, you're talking a good £800 minimum for that. So coming in at 380, I think it's an absolute bargain. So there you go. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.